Hello and welcome to this video on volume. In this video, we will look at word problems involving volume of water. Recall that previously we had one liter of water in a jug and we transferred all the water into a cubicle container of size 10 cm and the one liter of water filled the cubicle container completely. So one liter is equal to 1000 cubic centimeters and since one liter is also equal to 1000 milliliters therefore we can deduce that one milliliter is the same as one cubic centimeter also recall that the capacity of a container is the full amount of liquid it can hold without spilling so for our cubicle container here the capacity of the cubicle container is 1000 cubic centimeters or 1 liter. Let's look at example question 1. A rectangular tank measuring 90 centimeters by 25 centimeters by 80 centimeters is filled with water to a height of 30 centimeters. Part A. What is the volume of water in the tank in liters and milliliters? Part B. How much more water is needed to fill up the tank completely? Give your answer in liters. For part A, notice that the water in the tank looks like a cuboid. So we can use the formula for volume of cuboid to find the volume of water in the tank. So the volume of water is equal to 90 centimeters times 25 centimeters times 30 centimeters and we get 67,500 cubic centimeters. This is equal to 67 liters and 500 milliliters and that is the answer for part A. Let's look at part B. There are two methods. For method 1, we can first find the difference in height between the height of the tank and the height of the water. So this is 80 centimeters minus 30 centimeters, which gives us 50 centimeters. That means this is 50 centimeters. Then notice that the remaining space in the tank looks like a cuboid. So again, we can use the formula for volume of cuboid to find the volume of the remaining space in the tank. And so the volume of water needed to fill up the tank completely is equal to the volume of this space, which is 90 centimeters times 25 centimeters times 50 centimeters. And we get 112.5 liters. Let's look at method 2. In method 2, we first find the capacity of the tank. That is the full amount of water the tank can hold. This is equal to 90 centimeters times 25 centimeters times 80 centimeters, which gives us 180,000 cubic centimeters. And this is equal to 180 liters. Then the volume of water needed is equal to 180 liters minus 67.5 liters. 67.5 liters is from part A, which is the volume of water currently in the tank. From part A, we saw that 67,500 cubic centimeters is equal to 67.5 liters. So the answer is still 112.5 liters. So here you see the two different methods to find the volume of water needed. Let's look at example question 2. A rectangular tank measuring 54 cm by 12 cm by 60 cm was two-thirds filled with water at first. Some of the water was poured into an empty cubicle tank of size 15 cm each to fill it to the brim. Here you see the words to the brim 
that means fill it completely. Find the volume of water left in the rectangular tank. Give your answer in liters and milliliters. Notice that as the tank is filled, only the height of the water changes. So we can first find the height of water that is in the tank now. And that is 2 thirds of the height of the tank, which is 2 thirds times 60 centimeters. And we get 40 centimeters. And so the volume of water in the tank at first is 54 centimeters times 12 centimeters times 40 centimeters which is equal to 25,920 cubic centimeters. To find the volume of water transferred into the cubical tank, we first find the capacity of the cubical tank, which is equal to 15 centimeters times 15 centimeters times 15 centimeters, because it is a cube. This gives us 3,375 cubic centimeters. And then, to find the volume of water left, we subtract this from the volume of water that is currently in the tank now. So this is equal to 25,920 cubic centimeters minus 3,375 cubic centimeters. And we get 22,545 cubic centimeters. And then when we convert this into liters and milliliters, we get 22 liters and 545 milliliters.